Yo, what's up guys, Citical Golden here and welcome to this new episode. In today's video, as you guys see, I'm in the Monster Mega Deck Challenge, guys. I'm 6-0 right now, so I only need to win 3 more matches to be able to uh, complete the entire challenge. And in today's video, I will share you guys what deck I'm playing, like so far, which I used to get to 6.0, or 6-0, I should say. And then afterwards, I will, uh, yeah, with that deck, like it's a huge deck, by the way, like Mega Deck. It's a new game mode with 18 cards, so here's my deck, guys. Feel free to copy it, it's a little bit strange, but in my opinion it's actually a really uh, yeah, fun deck to use and also, yeah, just like super crazy of course. 18 cards, average lexicals 2.4, so it actually is a really cheap uh, like psycho deck. I've seen a lot of people like do for example um, and Golem and Laugh Out in the same deck. In my opinion this type of deck is better just because you're able to con uh, continuously keep up the pressure, keep up um, yeah, like chipping away. And in, in general, like, I think it's better than, um, yeah, having to spend, like, a lot of elixir in building up a beatdown push, which he might end up defending, uh, anyway, because he does have a lot of answers, like, to your push. So, 6-0 right now, at 7 wins, we do get a legendary token, then we get some gold, and also lightning chest, so definitely not a bad challenge, actually a really fun game mode. You have two phases, the first one is to get to 3 wins, like, kind of like a test run, kind of trying to, uh, figure out, like, how this works. And then afterwards starts kind of like the real challenge. And then uh, if you lose like three times, like you will actually be out. So I would say let's open to the first match, guys. Let's see uh, yeah, what well, I can't really see what kind of match we have. So also, for example, with this, like it's it's definitely not a bad idea starting with Hulk Rider, especially if you're an opponent. That's also why you only saw one big spell, by the way, in my deck. Um, because in this case, well, he does have a mini pickup, which is definitely a really solid counter to our Hulk Rider. Uh, let's actually go with a tornado for this mini P.E.K.K.A. So it looks like he does have turn, uh, Golem. Also, I noticed that a lot of people uh, tend to forget that it actually is like a single elixir. Like, even though you have so many cards, I feel like they forget that um, you do you like you don't have double elixir or triple elixir or something. Like, for example, right now, well, we don't really have a good hand, unfortunately. Like, we don't have uh, the cannon in hand. Hopefully, the next card after the Ice Spirit, no, it will not be the cannon. So we're kind of in uh, yeah trouble right now, guys. I think this might be tower for him to be honest but let's see so i'll actually go with a lumberjack for his uh dark prince luckily for us the king tower is activated so actually will not be tower won't even be that much damage i'll actually go with a balloon into the rage could have also gone with it into the right side but knowing that he doesn't have mega mini cycle uh and earlier he also used minions looks like he does have musketeer and ewis as well so quite a lot of counters on his part but then again, like, uh, we can't really keep track of them. Like, we can't really try to outcycle him. Because if we try to cycle back to that blue right now, uh, we see uh, we need to cycle a lot of cards. So, uh, went with a bandit for the counter, or to counter the musketeer. Looks like he has a P.E.K.K.A. So, I guess I will just use my cannon over here to counter this P.E.K.K.A. Let's go with a princess to the side. Hopefully, the cannon will actually pull the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, let's actually go with a barbell. So, looks like the cannon did pull it. So, that's nice. Looks like he went with a poison. Feel like he's quite low on elixir right now. So let's actually go with a Hawk Rider. Let's see if he cycles back to Mini P.E.K.K.A. Looks like he didn't. Um, uh, because, yeah, his deck cycles pretty... Well, not necessarily awkward. Or maybe awkward as well. But pretty heavy because he does have the Golem. He does have... Um, let's go with a Tornado here for the Hawk Rider. He does have the Golem. I think that Hawk Rider will still get hit. Bad NATO on my part. No, actually good NATO. I thought that the Hawk Rider would still get hit. Let's actually go with a Goblin Barrel Miner. Not sure if he has Lock in his deck or if he has it in hand. Looks like he doesn't, so looks like he went with a Hunter. Miner and Goblins are able to get a lot of chip damage. And I guess I can, yeah, let's actually go for a Fireball. I don't think I can hit both of them. Maybe I can, let's see. Yeah, looks like I actually can, so that's awesome. Uh, let's go with an Ice Spirit. Let's go with a Snowball. Looks like he goes with his Golem. Let's try to cycle back to our Cannon. As you guys see, we have the Cannon next, so let's go with a Cannon right now. Dark Goblin should be able to get quite a lot of value. Let's go with a Princess as well. And I think we might be able to defend this one, guys. Let's go with the Ice Golem to the side to tank. Hopefully, it will be tanking. No, it looks like it will not be tanking for the Baby Dragon. So, that's unfortunate. But look at the Princess. Let's go with a Bennett for the Dark Prince. Let's go with a Lock on Defense. Princess getting so much value, guys. And I think this might be a good game. He'll probably go with a Hawk Rider soon. Let's go with a Defensive Goblin Barrel to distract. Looks like he goes with his uh, P.E.K.K.A. But for sure, this is a good game. Only 4 seconds left, uh, 3 seconds left, and we also have the Tornado in hand. So definitely a pretty interesting game. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a well played, and let's give him a thumbs up. So Master Mega Deck, like you can't really keep track of, um, yes, yeah, Cycle, like what yeah, cards he has in his hand. It's impossible to do in my opinion. So what you definitely need to do in this game mode, like if I would uh, give a tip, like which I noticed um, myself, like for example in... Yeah, I just played like 10 games with this game mode. So what I noticed is, uh, as I said earlier, like people tend to kind of overextend or overcommit like really easily because they have so many cards. I feel like they also think that it's double or triple elixir. So I noticed keeping track of elixir, like kind of the elixir traits is definitely really important. 
uh, because this way, like, you can, uh, yeah, try to, f try to kind of punish them, um, afterwards, like, for example, sending in a Hawk Rider, a Balloon, a Bandit, whatever you have, like, after they overcommit, like, a lot of Elixir. So let's go with a Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrel, in general, like, is a pretty good play, like, even in normal Elixir or normal game mode, uh, but especially in this one, because if they don't have, like, in this case, like, his Rascals, like, we don't have Lock. Looks like next card is a Lock, so let's, uh, go with Bats. Quickly cycling back to Lock, and in the Lock, we'll be able to take care of the Rascal Girls. So pretty good start so far, got a little bit of chip damage onto the left side. Looks like he's going with his Tesla. Uh, I'll actually send the Hawk Rider into the other lane, especially after seeing the Tesla, like he doesn't really have, um, well he might have two buildings of course in his deck. So let's go with the Ice Spirit, just making sure I don't drop the Ice Spirit too close to this Tesla, because the Tesla of course does one shot the Ice Spirit. So let's go with a Bandit to pressure, looks like he has a Giant, so let's have the cannon ready guys, let's see if he has something for the um, Bandit, looks like he does, looks like he has his own Lumberjack. We also have Lumberjack in hand right now, might end up going, okay let's actually go with a Fireball off here. So the cannon will go down, that's no problem though, because we will have the Lumberjack. Let's see if he goes with something like Bats, looks like he goes with his Wizard, so we will definitely end up taking some damage here. Probably like 3 hits of the Giant, maybe? No, looks like actually only one, that was awesome. Lumberjack actually did good, uh, did do a good job at cleaning that up, so knowing that he used his Mega Minion, and for sure, like, I don't think he cycled back yet. I'll actually go with a Balloon into the left side, knowing that he also still needs to respond to our Princess. I think it's a pretty good Balloon, um, I will just end up ignoring... Yeah, I would just end up ignoring the bomber. Looks like he did go with the Inferno Tower, but Inferno Tower, luckily for us, didn't pull the balloon. So the balloon actually ended up connecting to the tower. Um, and of course, with the death damage, a lot of damage over there. Went with a minor towards the left side. And I think right now I'm just gonna um, yeah, cycle a bit, chill a little bit, and then probably... Okay, looks like he has Sparky. So Sparky, we don't have much in our deck, to be honest. Like, we don't have a rocket. We don't have any reset. So we do need to watch out. I will actually try to keep up the pressure over here. Um, okay, we do need to watch out over here, guys. Let's see if we can pull off a clutch defense. Mm, not sure if this is the defense we were looking for. Hopefully, Sparky doesn't hit. No, Sparky doesn't hit, so that was definitely the defense we were looking for, guys. Did not end up taking a single hit, so that's really awesome. Let's go with a fireball to be able to get some chip damage. Next card is the miner, so we should be um, looking pretty good. Do need to watch out off here right now. Let's um, definitely go with a nato on defense. And I might actually have to end up sending a miner in defense as well. Let's also go with a barbell. Barbell, don't, yeah, don't, uh, barbell was needed in that situation, but I just want to make sure like we actually end up defending. Let's go with a goblin barrel. Um... Looks like he also wasted a Zep bed go uh, Golden Barrel placement on my part, but that's fine. Let's actually go with um, Ice Spirit to tank. Let's go with Bats. Let's go with a Lock. Looks like the Sparky was able to get a hit. Do need to watch out right now, guys. Let's actually go with a Snowball. Uh, let's actually go with a Cannon. We do need to watch out, as I said. Let's go with a Princess to be able to counter that Skelly Barrel. Looks like he's going with a Lightning. Hopefully, he doesn't have, like, Mirror Rocket, but if he does, like, I think we should be fine. Let's see, he will probably go with his Tesla, yeah, looks like he went with his Tesla, so he's playing this really well, actually, we need to watch out over here, because I think right now we might be in trouble, let's go with Lumberjack, let's send the Miner towards the tower, just want to make sure, like, we actually ended up defending, so looks like the Miner will be able to lock onto the tower, and the Miner will be able to finish it off, wow, that actually uh, was kind of, yeah, tricky in the end, let's give him a good game, let's give him the wall plate, and let's give him a thumbs up, so definitely a little bit tricky in the end, like, I didn't really want to mess up, um, so maybe a weak thing about this deck is that we only have one big spell, like we have, uh, three, like, triple, or a small spell, like, triple small spells, we have the Lok, we have the, uh, Giant Snowball, and we have the Barbarian Bell, so that's definitely really good about this deck, like, we cycle super quick, but I guess the, um, kind of disadvantage, because I've seen a lot of people run, like, multiple spells in their deck, I guess a disadvantage could be that we, um, kind of need to, like, cycle troops instead of cycling spells, like, in the end, but I think it's totally fine. I mean, we're doing super good so far. We're 8-0 in the challenge right now. Looks like we found another match. So let's give it a thumbs up. And let's give it a good luck. Looks like he started with a Zep. Let's start off with a Bandit. Let's see what he has in hand for that. Uh, looks like an Inferno Tower. So that's what I, yeah. Not necessarily like really like about this game mode. But that's actually really fun about this game mode. Is that sometimes you, um, your opponent like counters your, in this case, like a Bandit. With something you would never like expect them to counter it with. For example, also like one game, like I started off uh, with, let's say, like a Hawk Rider. My opponent ended up going with his, um, with like a Freeze Defensive. So went with a Fireball over there to be able to kill the Musketeer. Looks like we were able to get a hit onto the tower, so that's nice. Let's actually go with a Giant Snowball. Uh, looks like he went with 
a nade on offense so looks like the giant snowball with the help of the dark goblin was able to counter that and knowing that he just played his baby dragon mega minion and musketeer decided to go with our balloon looks like he does have a tombstone and a minion but that's totally fine i mean he overspent not necessarily like overspent big time because we still need to ice spirit that um but that's a pretty good trade for us i mean forcing out elixir so let's actually go with a goblin barrel let's see if he has a lock or anything in hand um if not we yeah looks like he does have a lock so that's fine for us i guess i can just cycle my princess kind of tempted to go with yeah i, I guess i would just go with a princess at the bridge um kind of aggressive chipping away forcing out a response so let's actually go with a tornado over here guys for this mini pekka looks like he's going with a prediction um oof that might get a hit no looks like it will not get a hit so kind of like a prediction poison on his part let's go with an ice golem tanking let's go with a minor bets and then hook rider right into the left side so let's see if he has zap or anything in hand for the pets if not that will get a lot of damage and look at the hog rider onto the left side so that's also what i really like to do in um in this game mode kind of pressure with multiple win conditions and multiple pushes even though we were only in one uh, single elixir i felt like i uh yeah was able to do it and as you guys see like the pets there got so much value so let's see guys looks like he's going with a royal giant let's go with a cannon looks like he ignored um the bandit so i guess i can just go with a dark goblin to be able to chip away at the royal giant let's go with a fireball over here lumberjack is able to get two hits onto the tower perfect fireball also hitting the mega minion dark goblin will be able to take care of the musketeer will also be able to take care of the um... oof looks like he has an expo maybe not the best princess to be honest princess will actually end up dying uh do need to watch out over here but that's fine we'll probably end up taking yeah we'll be able to take down the left side tower and i don't think he will even be able to take down our right side tower so that's looking really really good for us guys he only has 15 seconds left um that's a misclick i don't know why well i guess it doesn't really matter i guess i can just go with defensive troops to minutes at this moment because uh, there's no time or yeah no time for him left and then we can always just tornado and for example go with a giant snowball so that's uh yeah definitely good game let's give him a good game let's give him a wall plate and let's give it a thumbs up so as you see 9-0 in the mega i think master mega deck or mega master deck not sure let's actually check real quick um in the master mega deck so 9-0 in the master mega deck challenge that's awesome guys so definitely a really fun deck definitely a really crazy deck like it's super crazy playing with a deck with 18 cards uh let me know what you guys think about this game mode by the way let me know if you guys already completed the challenge i would say let's just quickly open up this lightning chest so the only card i don't have max yet is earthquake let's hope we can get 21 earthquakes that would actually be awesome um if not no problem we can get some star points one more strike remaining let's see if we can get it and looks like no unfortunately 21 wizard but that's fine as i said we will get some extra star points so that's really nice looks like we also have a chest at nine wins so yeah there you go five earthquakes so that's actually really nice and then the next card one hunter so definitely not a bad challenge at all actually had a, uh, a yeah a ton of fun recording this video and also playing in this challenge let me know as i said earlier what you guys think about this game mode and if you guys uh, yeah already completed the challenge let me know in the comment section down below but this will do it for today's video guys if you enjoyed make sure to smack the like button if not subscribe to our channel yet feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos bye guys